Hello and welcome to a new KiCad tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to download a footprint from Ultra Liberian and check the footprint. This is KiCad tutorial 1.10b. In particular, we're going to download a footprint for a N MOSFET transistor. Okay, so we are now here at symbol 15, U2. SI4128DI-T1-GE3. We must now find the footprint for this component. And since we've clicked on it, as you can see, it has turned red in E schema. As mentioned, this tutorial is based on a blog. KiCad tutorial, in this particular case, tutorial 110, assign footprints to the switching regulator and MOSFET transistor. I'll put a link in the description below. Now we have to look for a footprint for this MOSFET uh, transistor. I've already checked that uh, KiCad does not have a footprint, but I did find particulars of this particular uh, transistor on the DigiKey website and you can find it by clicking here and here is the DigiKey website I'll leave a link in the description below concerning this DigiKey website as you can see DigiKey recommends that we download the footprint from Ultra Liberian we can go to the Ultra Liberian website by clicking here. I'll leave a link in the description to the Ultra Liberian website. And to find the footprint, we type in SI4128. And we click on search. And here it is. This is what we're looking for. The SI4128DI hyphen T1 hyphen GE3 and we click on it we click on the link and we click on download now and we select KiCad and we click that we're not a robot and we click download I have already done that, so I'm not going to do it now. Eventually, the footprint goes to your downloads file. Then you have to extract it. And I extracted mine to documents keycat SI41DY. And it, it's extracted to keycat. Uh, this is the date I uh, I extracted it. This was uh, generated by um, Ultra Liberian. So you click on that and then you click on the footprints pretty file and there is the footprint. SI4128DY hyphen T1 hyphen GE3 dot keycat underscore mod. You have, however, have to have a file where you put all your um, footprints. I put my footprints in this library, KiCad footprints. Uh, I put it close to the C drive, so the uh, root is very short. And as you can see, I put mine here, this PC Windows KiCad footprints. And this is where I put all my KiCad footprints. You, you ever have to uh, inform KiCad where that folder is and you do that by in the assigned footprints window you click on preferences and you click on manage footprint libraries and I put mine in the global libraries and you click on this folder, add existing library to table. And a window opens. 
and then you navigate to where your footprint library folder is. Here's mine, KeyCat Footprints. I click on it and you click OK. I'm not going to click OK. I've already done this. So I'm just going to click Cancel. You, if you haven't done this before, you must click OK. And as you can see, the folder where you keep your footprints, KeyCat Footprints, is then allocated to the footprint libraries. This is the root C KeyCat Footprints. I'm just going to click OK. Yeah, I can click OK. The important thing is you must go back to the folder where you extracted your um, Ultra Liberian file to. Mine, as discussed, is over here. This PC documents keycat SI four one two eight DY keycat, and that's the date. And it, as I've told you, it, it is in this footprints dot pretty file. There's the foot footprints that you downloaded from uh, Ultra Liberian. So you must select it, copy it. I'm not going to do it now. I've already done this. I'm just going to show you how to do it. The important thing is you must now paste it into the, your KeyCat foot, in my case it is the KeyCat footprints file. It depends on what you call yours. So you must open up the KeyCat footprints file and you must paste it in here. Now I've already done mine and this is the uh, footprint that we downloaded from um, Ultra Liberian, this SI4128DY-T1-GE3.KeyCat. Uh, underscore mod. The footprint should now show up in this KeyCat Footprints Libraries folder. So click on it, and there it is KeyCat Footprints SI4128DY-T1-GE3 footprint we downloaded from Ultra Liberian. If it doesn't show up there, the first time you may have to shut uh, KeyCat down completely and reload it. KeyCat may not update its its files during the time that you you add a footprint to it. So you may have to shut KeyCat down and um, restart KeyCat again. But you can click on it. Right click on it and click view footprint and there it is. There is the footprint you downloaded from the Ultra Liberian uh, website. You can get the data sheet of this MOSFET transistor by clicking here. You can download it by, by clicking here. I've already done that so I'm not going to do it. As you can see it is a uh, Transistor from Vishay, an in channel 30 volt DC MOSFET transistor. What we are interested in at this stage is the package information. It says here E, the width of the. Uh, this, 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 yeah, like this. Of the uh, transistor is given as. Capital letter E, and that is 3.8, between 3.8 and 4 millimeters. So we can check check that. We can enlarge this a bit to make the measurements a bit more accurate. If we measure it, the width comes down to 3,96, which seems fine. It says that the length of the IC MOSFET transistor, this length, this distance over here, is capital letter D, which is between 4.8 and 5 millimeters. If we measure it, it, it is 4.95 millimeters, which is fine. 
it says that the distance between the pins, maybe we can enlarge that a bit better, like so. Yeah, this distance E between the pins is 1.27 millimeters. We can enlarge this to make the measurements much more accurate. If we measure it, measures to 1.27 millimeters. What we recommend, what we're interested in is the uh, is application note 826 of Vichy Siliconics, the re recommended minimum pads for SO8. According to the data sheet, is 3.861. Let me just enlarge this a bit, you can see it a bit better. The, mi the minimum requirements is 3.861. That's the distance, inner distance between the pads. So we can check that. We just enlarge the hips a bit so we can measure a bit more accurately. If we measure that, we get 3.61, which is fine. It, it simply means that the pads in the footprint itself from Ultra Liberian is slightly closer as than the minimum requirement. The next distance we can measure is this distance from year to year, which is the minimum requirement is 4.369. So we're going to measure from year to year, and that is. 4.37, which is virtually the, the same. The next distance we're going to measure is the width of the pad, which is 0 0.559. Okay, we can enlarge it a bit to make it a bit me measurement a bit more accurate. If we measure that. It is given as 0 0.56, which is virtually the same. The next dimension we're interested in is, is this the, the width of the, when I say width, it's actually this, I suppose, more or less the length of the pad. It is given the minimum requirement is 1.194 if we measure it. It is 1.65, which is okay. It simply means that the pad is a bit wider in the footprint itself. And the final distance is this distance from year to year, given a 6.248. If we measure that distance, Then it's about 6,8 compared to 6.248 as recommended by the data sheet, which is fine and is to expect it as the, the footprint in the in the oh, sorry the pad in the footprint is, is, is slightly wider in in, in any event. The long of the short of the story is, the, is the, this pad that we downloaded uh, from Ultra Liberian is fine. All we need to do now is assign the footprint to the MOSFET transistor, and we do that by selecting the, the transistor and double clicking on the footprint. There we are, we have signed it, and we click Apply, Save Schematic, and Continue, and we click. Okay, I think this is enough for now. Next time we will look at the currents in the circuit. I do provide links in the description below. If you have any questions or suggestions, leave them in the comments below. Please click on the subscribe button. Thank you for watching and goodbye.